Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own online game board by using a new template from Flippity.net. So Flippity has this new game board template and each one of these spaces can be interactive. You can see if I click on the icon right there, right, it'll pop up this little, this little message. Over here, it pops up a message. Here it pops up and says, hey, move forward five spaces. Now, how do you move? Well, over here we have a dice, a die that we can roll. And you can actually, when you create your game, you can have up to three dice to roll. So I'll move this person marker six spaces forward. And they can then look at what their card or what their space says. Now, we also have cards that you can draw. And these cards, again, will pop up with different pieces of information. And the, there's a lot of flexibility with what you can do in those cards and in these messages that you have appear on the spaces. You could have students try to answer questions. You can include fun trivia facts. You could have students move forward or backwards depending on what pops up on the card or in the bit of information. So let's go ahead and take a look at how you can now customize this game and make it your own. So go to flippity.net and choose the Flippity board game and click on template. And you're going to make a copy right into your Google Drive or your Google Spreadsheets. And when this loads, we'll see down here in the demo field, this is setting up our game board appearance. Now you can't edit anything that's in blue. So don't change anything that's in the blue, but you can change everything else. So if you want space number one to say something instead of move forward six spaces, it could be something like fun fact. The Red Sox have won the World Series three times this century. And over here, we could do you know, fun fact, Mr. Byrne likes to ride his bike. But you can also do things like you know, go back three spaces. Or you could do a little challenge like move forward seven spaces if you can hold your breath for seven seconds. So you can have fun with it. Now, here in our cards, you can link to anything, just about anything you like, including a website, a YouTube video, an image, or you'll see here Desmos and Google Drawings links can be included. So if you want to include a link to a graph or a link to an equation, you can do so, or any drawing that you've created with Google Drawings, you can link right in here. And of course, you can write anything you'd like as well. You write, you won the spelling bee. And then say, Move forward 10 spaces. And again, I can link into just about anything in here. Maybe I'll do something like link to the ABC uh, spelling games. And so I'll put that link right in there. Now you can have two decks of cards. So you can have a whole nother column here of up to 45 cards. In the materials section, this is where you can change your game tokens or your markers. So instead of using just these standard ones that Flippity includes for you, you could do something like include a picture of a cat. So I'm going to use this picture of a cat. I'm going to copy the image address. And I'll put it in here for my token one. And so now I have a cat instead of that standard red marker. 
when I'm done setting up my game, and I have all the pieces that I like, and I have all the cards that I like, and by the way, you could have each one of these spaces include a different picture if you want to. You know, if I wanted to include a dog, copy that image address, and I'll put in a picture of a dog for space number 10. When I have it all set up the way that I like, I have to go to the file button and publish it to the web. And then go to get link here and Flippity will generate a link for me for my new customized game. And we can see here, now it has my cat as the game marker. On square one, I have fun fact, the Red Sox won the World Series three times this century. I have a picture, my picture of the dog in there. And I can see all my cards there. And I can roll the die, put my marker along the game board. Now, if I want to share this, just copy that link and I can share it wherever I like. Or I can go down here to the bottom and I'll get another link that I can use. I'll also get the option to post it right into my Google Classroom, tweet it out, or even generate a QR code for it as well. So that's how you can create your own online board game using Flippity.net's new board game template. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out practicaledtech.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.